Show Racism, the red card, celebrated its 15th anniversary and launched a new magazine at an event hosted by David Anderson MP at Westminster. Awards were presented to some of the people who have helped the campaign over the years, including Doreen Lawrence. We grabbed an interview with union leader Len McCluskey and footballer Jason Ewell. What advice would you give any young person who is suffering from uh, racist bullying? I always say go to an adult, a, a brother, a sister, a teacher if possible, a football coach, a music coach, whatever, whatever sort of role model or elder person that you can... Get, get to and, and speak to them and explain what you're going through. Yeah, don't be scared to stand up and, definitely. and tell some. Yeah, definitely. Honestly. And um, what have you made of the, the work of Show Racism, the red card so far, from what you've seen? Oh, brilliant. I've been involved over 10 years now and it, it just seems it's, it's, it's growing and growing year by year. And I think that the amount of people that we can get involved in this, is, it can literally just get a lot bigger. It said it started very small. 15 years ago and you look at the time which has gone by you actually can't believe it's actually that long it seems like it was yesterday that it was about but just to show the impact that it's had on a lot of people's careers and lives and f for an organization like this it just wants to do a whole lot more to change a lot of people's minds and education and careers and i think it can do that yeah definitely and hopefully in 15 more years time will I be having a chat and looking back at even more success. Yeah, and hopefully still playing by then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks Jason. And uh, Len, um, you're here uh, as part of uh, the union, as um, you know, great sponsors of, of uh, the campaign, uh, always very proactive as well. And what do you see in society today, today as the main sort of threat with regards to racism? Well, it's uh, of course a lack of education. It's also the nature of the society we live in where uh, people are struggling for jobs, struggling for housing, and there's always those evil elements, the latest being the English Defence League, who are looking to uh, exploit that and try to blame people and divide workers. That's why the work of, uh, of the organisation is so important. Uh, you know, it has uh, done fantastic work over the last 15 years. My union's been supportive of it right through that. As a football fan, uh, for the last 50 years, without giving away too much of my age, uh, the dramatic change that I've seen in football has given me encouragement to say that when you confront racism, when you stand up to it, like Jason and others have had to, then that's how you tackle it. You don't allow the type of abuse to take place and simply turn a deaf ear. I've been involved in one or two scuffles myself at, uh, at football matches. And the work that Send Raci uh, Racism, the red card, does enables us to equip people, to educate people, and to hopefully make certain that we live in a better society. Show Racism, the red card. Show Racism, the red card.